Welcome to our virtual law legal analysis series. In today's episode, we will discuss the case of Pepsi Cola Bottling Co. of the Philippines Incorporated versus City of Butuan, GR No.L 22814. This landmark case was decided by the Supreme Court of the Philippines on August 28, 1968. Let's dive right into it. Facts Pepsi Cola Bottling Company of the Philippines Incorporated, Pepsi Cola, is a domestic corporation with its principal place of business in Quezon City. It has a warehouse in Butuan City where it stores its soft drinks for sale to customers in Butuan City and the rest of Abusan Province. The City of Butuan enacted Ordinance No. 110, which imposes a tax of P0.10 per case of 24 bottles of soft drinks or carbonated drinks on any agent and or consignee of any person, association, partnership, company or corporation engaged in selling, soft drinks or carbonated drinks. Pepsi-Cola challenged the validity of Ordinance No. 110, arguing that it is unconstitutional for the following reasons. It is an import tax, which is beyond the power of the city to impose. It is discriminatory, as it only applies to soft drinks brought into the city from outside of Butuan. It violates the uniformity rule on taxation. Issue Whether Ordnance No. 110 is valid? Ruling The Supreme Court ruled in favor of Pepsi-Cola. The court held that Ordinance No. 110 is invalid for the following reasons. It is an import tax. The court noted that the ordinance only applies to soft drinks that are brought into the city from outside of Butuan. This means that the ordinance does not apply to soft drinks that are produced or manufactured within the city. As such, the ordinance is essentially an import tax, which is beyond the power of the city to impose. It is discriminatory. The court noted that the ordinance only applies to soft drinks that are brought into the city by agents or consignees of other dealers. This means that local dealers who are not agents or consignees are exempt from the tax. This is discriminatory, as it gives an unfair advantage to local dealers over dealers from outside the city. It violates the uniformity rule on taxation. The uniformity rule on taxation requires that all taxpayers within a jurisdiction be taxed equally. The court noted that Ordinance No. 110 does not meet this requirement, as it only applies to soft drinks that are brought into the city by agents or consignees of other dealers. As a result, the Supreme Court declared Ordinance No. 110 invalid. Significance the Pepsi-Cola case is an important case in Philippine taxation law. It establishes the principle that local governments cannot impose import taxes. It also establishes the principle that local governments cannot impose discriminatory taxes. Finally, it establishes the principle that local governments must comply with the uniformity rule on taxation. That's all for this episode. What do you think about the topic? Feel free to comment and suggest what topic you want us to discuss on the next video. Stay tuned for more legal insights in our future episode. Remember, understanding the law helps us comprehend the intricacies of our legal system. See you next time. Like and subscribe.